What's going on YouTube? Dave back again and today we're taking a look at a ring spinner from DeMouse on Amazon. Roll the intro. What's going on boys and girls? Dave back again and today we have another spinner review. This one I ended up picking up off of Amazon. This one is from a company called DeMouse, uh, D-M-A-O-S. This one they are calling the Castle Spinner and I'm going to be a flat up front. This is a one to one knockoff of the Flame Steel Ring Spinner. And uh, you know, I ended up, despite not liking picking up clones and one to one clones, I picked it up just out of curiosity to see, to see what the big deal was about the Steel Flame Spinners, the Ring Spinners. Now you guys already know, I really like ring spinners. I was super surprised when this ended up showing up and I figured for the cost of it, which is about $42, $43 um, versus the $600 plus for a steel flame. You know, even if it was garbage and I threw it in the trash, it was, uh, you know, a, it was a chance I was willing to take. And I'm actually glad that I did. I know several people that have picked this up after I ended up picking it up and they actually have a steel flame and the reason they have a steel flame is because they had this one and they fell in love with it and ended up purchasing the real thing and I would suggest doing so if you can though that is not in everybody's budgets or most people's budgets so this is a really simple spinner I did not do a spin time up in the corner because the spin time on it is only about two or three minutes it's not meant to be a long time spinner it did come in this nice leatherette pouch it has their logo with the PCC team. I'm not sure exactly what that means. You unsnap it. Um, you have these nice brass but, uh, buttons on here and this soft like faux leather um, felt lining in here. The only thing to be cautious with is if it's bouncing around or if you have a regular spinner in here, if it rubs up against the inside of the button that's in there, it is going to scratch your spinner. This actually works out perfect for that all right so here we are with this now on the site or actually on amazon they say that this is a solid brass um, i actually beg to differ and maybe they need to check their description because this is actually solid copper and the reason i know that is i took a file to it actually uh, i believe right here and i went down a good ways just to make sure it wasn't a copper coating and it is actually solid copper this does weigh in total with the slug at 3.67 ounces without the slug 2.63 for those of you that like it in grams it's 104.3 or 74.8 taking a look at the glyphs on here you've got the shield with the cross this is on each one they do have another spinner as well that has um, basically the playing card symbols you can see some machining marks on here from the cnc taking a look at this side you have their logo on the slug and they call these a slug instead of a button because they don't screw in and out you do have basically the celtic crosses on there take a look at the other side you have this as well um, this has had one of those black um, basically metal washes done on it and it looks really good they even went far enough to copy the blue screws that are used in the steel flames we're going to pop out the slug and this is where this beast comes into play you can see that the bearings on there, they advertise this having a 6703 bearing. And this is how it's intended to be used. It's supposed to be a finger spinner. And trust me, I use it a lot, just like so. It is very comfortable. There are no hot spots on here. It's a comfortable size for the bearing to fit on pretty much any finger. You can see I can use some lotion. It puts on the lotion or it gets the hose all right so yeah as you can see the spin is very smooth there is no wobble in it no play that bearing sits in there nice i did have to snug down these screws a little bit just to get them in there nice and secure and hold down the bearing you can see it just pushed in stopped and then held in by the screws now one of the things that you get when you get an authentic steel flame is they have these badass buttons that have um like raised glyphs on there uh i think there's a um a griffin a lion there, there's a couple others a couple out there and they are 
fantastic. But if you're looking for a ring spinner that won't break the bank and you want to try out something that is similar to an authentic, I would have to recommend this. I'm sure I'm going to get some dislikes from the collector community and that is okay. You know, I'm not touting on buying clones or um, one-to-ones, but in this case, I would have to say if you're thinking about getting uh, original steel flame this is a good step I mean for 40 bucks it'll give you a chance do I really like it do I really want to spin you know almost a grand for one and this makes a nice just daily banger um, I use this at work a lot I just have it in my pocket the bearings are nice and easy just to blow out and clean the only downside is if the bearings ever go bad of trying to find one of that size. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that review. This was the Castle Spinner from DeMouse on Amazon. Definitely check down in the description. There will be a link to Amazon to be able to check this out. Also, remember, Tuesday is Prime Day, so keep an eye on prices. Most are going to end up getting slashed and special deals. If you're not a Prime member, go ahead and smash that button down there too. Try out the free trial never going to hurt. You can always cancel it and you get all the goodies. If you guys want to see more reviews and things, make sure and check right there and right there. As usual, YouTube, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, YouTube.